Hello, network developers. We are back again. My name is Mutsueda Rotondo. I'm back with another hot tutorial. I'm sure you are prepared and ready for it using our CPT Cisco Packet Tracer. Ah, it's been a week, hey? Since last week, Friday. Yeah, I'm sure you have been waiting. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for today? Okay, if you are ready, get your notebook, get your laptop, get your paper, get your pen, get whatever you want to use to copy or to write down the notes. Now, today we're going to be dealing with the repeater and we're going to have one repeater, two switches and four computers, okay? And we all know that repeater, it is just dead to enhance, I mean, eh, to... to to push forward the data signal that they may not be weak when they are traveling distances on a network okay it's there to regenerate the signal on the same network so we're gonna create one network so today you're gonna need one repeater two switches and four computers okay so you come to apps you click repeater you put it there we go we have our repeater there you come to switch pick two switches okay here we go our second switch now our end device we come to pc this is our first pc oh my god today it's gonna be so awesome i'm telling you if it's the first time you are in our channel please make sure that you watch our previous videos and you also subscribe to our channel so that you can receive more videos when we put them on fridays okay all right if you have already hit the thumbs up there or the bell or you are not yet just do it now as we are designing as we are designing you will get to know how to design okay look the shortcuts on how to design these networks <coughs> excuse me first ethernet zero you connect it with your switch there gigabit ethernet okay first ethernet zero you connect it to your gigabit ethernet okay you come to this second computer first ethernet zero you connect it to your gigabit ethernet one okay five ethernet zero you connect it to your gigabit ethernet two okay now we have established our local area network using two switches now we are going to connect our switch with our repeater so like now first ethernet zero slash one we connect it to our repeater another thing you need to know is that repeater it's a one layer device okay it works on a physical it only has got two ports only two ports okay if you click on it you go to the physical you will see here it has got two ports two ports okay now what's left is to assign it's to put our ip addresses on our pieces i've already told you on the previous tutorials on how to do it you click pc you go to config okay okay you go to desktop i mean to say hey ip configuration there we go Let's say our network IP configuration is on 15, 15, 15.1, okay? Okay, there we go. You come to your second one. IP config. There we go. 15, comma 15, comma 15, comma 2. Okay. Don't forget all these laptops or computers are on the same network they are on the same network let's just say maybe they are on the same building but different rooms or they are in a different buildings okay but connected on the same networks so repeater is just there to make sure that the signal it doesn't get weak it reach where it's supposed to reach while it's still strong okay there we go 15.15.15.4 15 15 uh -huh. we are done assigning our 
IP addresses. Now let's see if these computers can communicate regardless of the fact that they are in the different buildings. Now let's see, we come to simulation. We were on real time. We come to simulation. We pick up a packet. We put it on a PC. The destination, let's just say we want this packet to go to computer number three on that other building okay the ip address of computer number three it's 15 comma 15 comma 15 comma 3 eh? and this is the source where it's coming from 15 comma 15 comma 15 comma 1 okay here we go here we go here we go here we go all right perfect we create a pdu now this is it this is our packet on this computer number one it will come to the switch so now at first the switch doesn't know where to send so it will send through to straight to the repeater and also to this computer this computer because it's not assigned to receive then it will not receive it and from the repeater it will come to the switch from the switch it will come to these two computers this one because it's not assigned to receive it will not receive but this one will receive and therefore send back the acknowledgement it will reply to say i have received the packet okay so now if you're using a different version of packet tracer you are going to click where it's written of uh, send by forward depending on what version you are using but this side we just click okay here and then it send the packet not sent by forward capture by forward yes uh-huh now check it has crossed to say no this is not where it's supposed to come it comes here from here it will go to two of these computers both of them at the same time this one will cross to say it's not the one but here it did not cross it tells that it has received now it's sending the reply back where it is from simple as this simple as this if you want to establish a network of computers on the same network which is local area network but in the two different buildings or in the same buildings but two different rooms this is what you do you use a repeater your data will not get lost along the way okay that's how simple it is okay now let, let's get back to real time let's say we are here okay now let, let's pick a different computer ne? yeah okay let's say command prompt let's ping ping computer number two with computer number four what is the ip address of computer number four 15 comma 15 comma 15 comma 4 let's say enter now check these replies these are the replies Okay, packet sent for packet received for lost zero so the packet has been sent from second computer to the fourth computer and the reply have been sent back again so that's how simple it is thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you have got the question let me know down there i'll come and reply if you i have a request of the video that you want me to do leave it there i will come and reply if you like the video click the thumbs up there click like it comment that you have liked it subscribe to my channel watch other videos and view and view and view and view and view and also lastly go and invite others go and tell others that it's happening so simple like this to establish your own network okay god bless you my name is Mzodaro Tondra. Thank you for today.